In this ceramics lab, I will show you how to make clay projects using only coils. With ceramic projects, we use kiln clay, the wet clay that dries out, and we put in the kiln and it turns into hard ceramics. Coils are little ropes of clay. To make coils, you're going to roll your clay out until the rope is about the width of your pinky. We're going to be using these coils to build a whole clay project. I would recommend something that's simple enough where you can tell what it is just looking at the outline. So something like a kitty shape would work or another kind of simple animal shape. You could do other simple shapes like cars or airplanes. If it's really complicated, it's gonna be really hard to tell what this is in the end. Once you have your outline drawn out, we're going to trace it with Sharpie marker. I just drew the outline, but if you want to draw details like the eyes, that's okay too. Once you have your template drawn, we're gonna get our ceramics tools. We're going to always work on this placemat and we're going to put our template right on top of the placemat. Next, you're going to take your ball of clay, get a little bit, just a handful, and then start building a coil. The coil should be about the width of your pinky. If it's skinnier, it might dry out and break. And if it's thicker, then it'll be very hard to bend. So once you have this coil, you're going to put it along your outline template. If it's not long enough like mine, you're just gonna get more and continue. Again, your coils are about the width of your pinky. And then we're going to start where we ended. But if you just connect it like this, it's gonna fall off. So try and kind of smoosh it on there from the top. And that way it will not fall off and it's dry. You need a little bit more. So I cut mine off a little bit bigger than the gap that I need so that I can squish it from the top. So now I have my outline. Next, your challenge is going to be to add details and fill this gap in with a bunch of coils. I'm gonna start by adding my details like the eyes. For the details, if your coils are a little bit skinnier, that will be fine. Then I'm rolling up one of those coils to make the iris. And I'm adding a smaller detail to put on top for the pupil. We're not going to be scoring and slipping for this project. So if you're going to add clay on top, make sure you squish it in there so that it does not fall off once it dries. Now, if you have little pieces like this that you did not use, it's important to put it back into that main clay sphere. That way, those pieces of clay are less likely to dry out. Now I'm gonna make the nose. And then I'm going to kind of draw the mouth shape using coils. So this whole process is gonna be kind of like drawing with coils. And if you have little details like whiskers that are sticking out, that is very likely to break off. So I would try and keep all of your coil pieces inside of your main coil outline.
So now I added all of the details that I wanted to add. Eyes, nose, mouth, whiskers, some fur patterns, and inside of the ears. Next, you're going to take your, take the rest of your clay and make coils to cover inside. You're gonna go right over the details that you just made. So I'm starting with the outline. You see that I'm going right over those whiskers. And it's gonna cover up everything, but don't worry. So I went inside of my first outline. Now I'm going to keep continuing, getting smaller and smaller inside. Remember that you're going over all of your designs. And if something shifts like that, just make sure you bring it back. Okay, so covered inside over my details all the way. Now you're going to squish from the top so that's kind of flat on the top. And then we're going to peel this off. When you peel it off, you'll be able to see the details that you had in the beginning. So you can see my eyes, nose, mouth, the fur details, the ear details. And if it's a little bit hard to see, no worries because we'll be glazing it later. So at this point, you can now smooth your clay so that the outline is a little smoother. You can make things pointy if you want. Smooth out the clay. And then once you're done with that, you can decide what you want to turn this into. You could leave it like this and use it as a trivet where you put hot pots on. You could bend it a little bit so that it's like a little dish. Or you could ask me to poke a hole in the top so that it hangs. Or you could poke a few holes if it's gonna be a little bit heavy. Or if you make smaller ones, it could be ornaments. Or if you make a really tiny one, it could even be a necklace. So you'll wanna have an idea of what you're gonna turn it into the end so that you can decide the size that you want it to be. And then you can bend it or poke holes to turn it into what you plan it for it to be. Now at this point, this is wet clay. We're going to let it dry so that it's bone dry. That's the clay stage where the clay is very, very hard and brittle. After that, we'll put it in a kiln and heat it up very, very hot to turn it into ceramics. That's the hard form of clay. Once it's out of the kiln, we will add some glazes. Glazes are the special kind of paint for ceramics. <laughs> 